Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together, and I am always so grateful, thankful, and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I hope you all had a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, happy holiday weekend with your families, friends, loved ones, and yourself personally. I have some amazing things I cannot wait to share with you. I am so excited for these things and I'm also so happy we lost power for a whole entire day and it was really difficult to pull off Christmas after the craze of the storm that rolled through Massachusetts but we are back in action now and there's no chance of any more blackouts that I know of so I can get through this haul because at the end of the last haul on Saturday that is when my lights went out for a whole day so we are about to get through this and I'm happy to be here with every single one of you so now I found another product yes I most certainly did I have hauled two different types of these essential moisturizers right here and these go for way more than $1.25 from the Dollar Tree when you're purchasing them outside. This is the Essentials Spring and this is the beautiful light moisturizer from Nature. This is hyacinth i believe that is pronounced like that i even researched it before i said it i still could be wrong though because we know my pronunciation on this channel <laughs> is not always the best this is lily of the valley as well in the ingredients and this is scented moisturizer and there is three ounces in here so i love these i can't tell you how amazing this has been on my skin and i do want to pull out the product again to show you if just in case you haven't seen me haul the other types there are so many different types of these to find at the dollar tree um and i want all of them because my skin has been so great with this moisturizer on it so inside there is this bottle right here with these amazing amazing little products you're going to put the pump in and then it's going to be a pump of moisturizer. So this one is the spring scent and I love it. I think I had researched it and I found them for roughly about 15. Other people have found them different places for about 22, but at the Dollar Tree, they're $1.25. So you know I loved that. Then I found these two products in the Ioni brand and I was really happy for these because I do wanna take better care of myself and doll up once in a while, especially on the weekends for like date days and stuff. And I really, really liked these. I've never seen them before. This is the face highlight and bronze and this is chloe that girl looks all kinds of fancy brighten and shine soft texture long lasting and i think that the color of it is really really pretty for a bronzer and the packaging is always unbelievable in the ioni brand so there's that one and then this, this is the face highlight and this is emma she brightens and shines soft texture and long lasting again so there is this product in here. Don't know how to do it, but I'm definitely going to have to research some makeup videos and see if I can get all kinds of fancy on a Friday night. See where life takes us. <laughs> And then I found these. I have picked these up every time I've ever seen them. These are so wonderful. This is the Sassy and Chic. There's three pieces in here and there's three different types of mini tweezers. My mom back in the day, probably sometime last year, bought mini tweezers from CVS, I think it was. And one of these mini tweezers was around $11. And I knew that these you know, occasionally popped up at the Dollar Tree and they work just as well as that one for $11. This is the pointed tip on the top, the slated tip in the middle and the flat edge on the bottom. So they have all kinds of different reasons for them. Like the, um, for grown in hairs is the top one for brow hairs is the middle one. And for thick hairs is the bottom one. 
So there is this little package and I pick them up, like I said, because sometimes they do go missing because they're mini, but I'm certainly happy to have it back in the store and was able to grab them. Now I found some of my most wonderful favorite soaps and these are always a hit for me because I love to pick up like a variety of different soaps. I don't like to get all just one big package of the same type of soap straight through. I like to switch things up. So so these two right here are my favorite. This is the Irish Spring. There's three bars in here, which is decent. This is the Sports Strength Antibacterial. I love Irish Spring. And this is great with the three. And then this zest right here is the two. And the two bars are Hygiene Boost. Washes away harmful germs and bacteria. Sounds like a plan. This one is hypoallergenic and dye free. So that's always good. And then I picked up these two right here because the guys absolutely loved this soap. So I was happy to go back and find some more of the Old Spice Bar Soap. And I picked up a couple of these for each guy because they really, really love them in their stocking. And then and my, my grandpa always wore Old Spice colognes. And I just love Old Spice because it brings back memories for me with my grandpa too. And then this one is another zest. I love, love, love this one. This is indulge moisturizing lush orchid and almond oil. I love almond scent. Oatmeal almond is my favorite co combination, but almond anything is so spectacular. And there's two bars in here as well. So I got to replenish my soap stash and that is always magical for me. And I was able to pick up some great word searches. Richie and my mom love a good word search. So I was able to pick up two of each and they still are Christmas themed. So I was still happy to find them. This is the Christmas word search in the large print. This is really decent for like $1.25 because other places you can find them for like $2. Even $1.50 is more than $1.25. So this one is the volume 18 and there's quite a bit of pages to work through. So I grabbed one for him and her. And then I got this winter one right here. And the one to one is also large print and this is volume 19. And these are so good for like, you know, all of your cognitive reasons. It's really good to do these. I actually like these myself. I should probably start doing a few too. So grabbed all of those and they have so many different varieties of the puzzle books that Sudoku, I'm Sudoku, Sudoku, something, you know, um, crossword puzzles, all kinds of things, but the word searches are definitely like my family's favorite. I also got a double pack of playing cards, which is really good because I always seek out the double pack whenever I can find it. This is so great. And this one is the classic games playing cards. So I picked these up because we stay home for Christmas. We stay home for New Year's. We stay home for all of it. Like I haven't been out most of my life. I think I maybe went out one time ever on a New Year's Eve night and I wanted to come home by like nine o'clock <laughs> even when I was young. So that is just like a home night food and games, relaxing, watching movies, warm and cozy in my fuzzy socks as always. So we definitely needed playing cards for that. And my favorite card game since I was small was Rummy and my Nana Judy and I always played it. She used to let me stay up all kinds of late on the weekends to play Rummy with her. So I miss that and that's a fun time because we all love it. Then I have, I have this little set over here that I picked up for myself because I really want to make this and something about these two packages together made me really happy and excited and I want to make a beautiful bead garland with this right here those a combination of the wood and the pom-poms the colors just drew me in so this is 24 pieces of this like uh like cocoa not cocoa colored but like tan colored wood beads in there 
So I think those are beautiful. And then I think that these are the coolest, most beautiful little pom-poms. I use them to embellish a lot of different things over the last couple of months crafting. And I loved these. So there's 25 pieces of these little gorgeous pom-poms inside of there. So I'm going to make one of those long decorative bead strands with these two packages. And I needed, I needed this little sewing case right here to pull that off. So I found this up by the register and this one has, this one has uh, safety pins, a thimble, assorted buttons. It has needles in it. Um, it has a threader, a spool. It has bobby pins. It has a ton of stuff. So I was really, really excited. Let me take the wrapping off and let's actually look at it without the wrapping on it. That would be much better for all of us. So, and then all of those colored threads in there. I mean, that is really, really good. I really like this a whole big bunch. Look at, it even has like little scissors inside and that needle pack back there. Whoop, things are falling out. So I'm going to just thread a needle. I'm going to thread a needle and I'm going to push them through all of those things has a measuring tape and everything. That is really fancy. That is truly, really fancy. And I like the case. I like this small case and I like the case that it comes in. So I'm just gonna make it cute, a nice, cute, strung bead for decorative purposes. And it just caught my eye and I thought I'd do it. So I picked those up. Then I did wanna do some more crafts and creations on some of my little signs. And I picked this up and this is the letters, uh, the letter tiles. There's 26 in here and I love these packages. I grabbed two of them so I could make some words. I grabbed two a couple of months back and they really did go a long way. I came up with all kinds of fancy stuff to glue these into like little sayings and they came out adorable. So I picked up another two sets of those. Then I grabbed these just for some winter decorating. This was actually in the Christmas set, uh, uh, section, still left over. Some stuff is still hanging out. So these are the little wooden snowmen in here. And I thought I would just embellish them and make them cute. Starting to get really cold and crazy around here weather-wise. We're down, at, just in the last couple of days, we're down into the teens all of a sudden. And that whole storm of what we just went through over the weekend has frozen over. And my whole entire car, yard, everything is all ice. So it's time to decorate after this with some just snow-themed Christmas is out and winter is in. So I'm going to really make those cute as a button. How many are in there? I didn't even check for silly reasons. I didn't even look. There's eight pieces inside of here. So I thought those would be super cute. Then I was able to pick up this five pack of snowflakes. So I thought once I take all of my ornaments off the tree, I could leave my tree up and then just decorate some beautiful snowflakes with all kinds of glitter and blues and white paint and embellish these cute and put them all over the tree for the winter. So I love that and I thought that that was really awesome that there was still a few to choose from from that. Now I have stuff everywhere. I have it everywhere. I have it everywhere. Um, Richie, I do want to get him some office supplies to start off the new year at work. And we picked this out right here because he wants to organize his office. This is Corner Office by Jot. This is a pen holder, which I think is really decent. And it's on a little swivel, like this swivels around. So you can put all kinds of things that you need in here, his little um, paper clips and what have you, pens, pencils, highlighters, markers, whatever fits in there and floats his boat. So I do want to definitely scout out some more, you know, manly looking color scheme of office supplies for him. In the next couple of days, hopefully I can pick those up and send it all to work with him so that he can jazzify his fancy office. Then I found these stickers and these are brand new and they have amazing, amazing sayings on them that just made my heart so happy. So this is the Crafter Square brand as well. There's 67 count in here. 
And this is some of the stuff that it says. It says magical, um, unicorn. It says super cute. It says awesome, believe. It says so many amazing things. It's like that iridescent look to it. They're a little bit puffy. There's hearts and stars, little flowers. I just think that these are so amazing and something that I've never one time ever seen before. So I was happy to see that the store was stocking a little bit, but it definitely was still pretty ransacked after the holiday. Then this one right here, I really, really love. And this is an awesome like copper tone to it. This says positive. This says good vibes, believe, good day, kindness, and you've got this. There's a little crown down there, a little arrow. I think that these are so wonderful. And there's 18 count in there. That other one couldn't have said 67. What are my bananas? Yeah, it does say 67 count. I was right probably because of all the little separate hearts, flowers, and stars. So this one is an 18 count. This one is a 67. But those are going to be really amazing and fun to craft with. This one is the 25 count. And this one is also that beautiful copper color as well. This says love, believe, shine, big smile, dream, has smiley faces and stars and arrows and a little heart up there. So, you know, if you've been here with me for a while, I have an obsession with stickers and they just make my heart happy. I craft, I do friend mail with them, send out pen pal mail. I just, I go bananas with stickers. So I always need my stash to be plentiful. <laughs> so there is that as well. I did grab some fancy, fancy croutons. I got a bunch of salad stuff. We still have a lot of like leftovers from the weekend. I did charcuterie boards for desserts and also for, um, you know, just cold meats and finger sandwiches. I did a fruit uh, charcuterie board with nuts and all kinds of things. But we did have a lot of salad stuff too. And this one is the... Uh, Newfields Eat Fresh Garlic Croutons, and that's a nice big package. That is a nice big package, and there is a Ziploc seal on there once you tear it. So add some croutons to the lettuce mixture and have some Italian dressing. Yum. Oh, sounds great. I found these as well, and I thought that they were really wonderful to eat with pretzels. I really liked those. We have a lot of pretzels left over from some of the like snacking stuff. This one right here is from Old World, both of these. This is the pineapple mustard. Pineapple mustard. I am really extra, extra excited about this particular one for sure. And it says that these were um, imported and distributed by Elk Grove, Virginia, Illinois. So pineapple mustard yes and then this one is sweet hot mustard so the guys will definitely like that one and i thought that was jazzy fresh now my goodness can you honestly even believe i found more barbie stuff more outfits i don't have yet i have been finding these left and right and i love sharing them with you because at the regular old store of like walmart i've found things that look like this that are like four five six dollars and these are a dollar 25 right now at the dollar trees that are you know putting them out on the shelves this outfit i want to wear and sip a pina colada a virgin because i don't drink but that is the coolest outfit that purse is fancy she's got a headband in there with a top knot yes girl yes you know i love a top knot and then that outfit and dress is so fancy fresh so there is that package then this one is really sporty and fun this outfit is so cute that little jean skirt look at those combat boots right there i want a pair of those I like her little crop top. And let's see, what is that? That looks like um, a necklace, maybe a choker or something like that. All of these are Barbie brand products and I love it. Then this one right here. This one is a tie dye like romper, I think. No, it's not. It might be a tie dye t-shirt dress or something like that. And then those right there are high top sneakers. Who, I was born in 1981, high top 
hot pink Reeboks. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love them. I can still feel them on my feet. I have a pair of hot pink Reeboks right now, but they're low cut. I want to find high top hot pink Reeboks that look just like this and have them back in my closet. So there is that really cute outfit from the Barbie brand. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I found these for my beautiful, wonderful, fancy, loving friend, Janie. I had not found these again after I purchased mine several months ago, but ta-da, here they were back. And these are so cute because these light up and they are so bright and fun and they just bring happiness to your eyeballs. You have to make sure that they have the pull tabs on the bottom. She had said, if you ever find those again, can you grab me too? And here they are. So I love those. They're really, really, really cute. And there was a whole box of them. So that made me super happy too. Then I found this. And this right here was just the cutest thing ever. We love board games, like I told you. Love them, love them, love them. Bingo is so fun. I want to go to bingo, like adult bingo, at least once a week. I would love to start that. Richie and I have been saying it for years that we want to go to bingo in our like surrounding area on whatever night one of the little halls gives it. The senior center, I don't care where it is. <laughs> I am coming with my daughter, you know, the little blot daughter thing for the bingo cards. And that is just too much fun for me. So I love to pick this up at the Dollar Tree for a bingo night. And this is Valentine's Day. There's 20 pieces in here of this Valentine's Day bingo card set. I love it. And then it comes with the call out cards and the little the little dots to put over it and they are hearts so that is amazingly wonderful cute to send to school with the kids if you wanted to for like a little valentine's day day at school that they might be having i just think it's amazing now last but not least i cannot even still believe that he did it my husband went and purchased on Dollar Tree's website the whole entire box of the Dorables that were being put out on the shelves. And I missed every single one of them that I stumbled upon. If you guys have been watching my hauls, you know that I was only able to find one that I had to like dive for and scout out. But under the tree in a beautiful bag was this huge box and I pulled it out and I screamed so loud. So he went on the Dollar Tree's website. He got the entire box for me delivered and surprised me with it. So I believe inside of here are 48 blind bags of the Disney Dorables from the Dollar Tree. And I am so completely happy, elated, excited, and thrilled beyond words. So I am going to pull out five bags right now from this big old box. And I'm going to open them with you right here and right now. So look at all of those in here. I literally can't even believe it. He has spoiled me completely rotten for the entire month. He has been completely obsessed with finding and scouting out all of these amazing, adorable items from all these different types of websites. He's been surprising me with them even before Christmas. And then there was a couple more things under the tree that were adorable themed because I've been collecting them now that I'm completely in love with them. So here are the five bags that I pulled out for this time to open up with you guys. And we are about to do that. And I don't know why I feel like I'm five when I do this, but it makes me really happy. So we're going to open it up. So inside of this bag right here, I got Dory. I do not have Dory yet, and she is just as cute <laughs> as a button. I'm so excited I got Dory. Finding Nemo is my jam. So then right here, we have, oh, we have even, we even have the little, little teeny tiny um, octopus from Finding Nemo as well. So two things out of that huge box that actually go together. That is so thrilling. And then this one right here, I got the, woo, I'm dropping them everywhere. I got the Beast 
from Beauty and the Beast. He is so sweet and cute. And I do already have a bell, so I'm excited. Then we have this one. I, I am so thrilled. I got the little candle, the little candelabra from Beauty and the Beast. I don't have that one yet. And then I have this one. And this is the fifth bag right here. So, and I got beautiful Olaf. I am going to have to post like a collective haul of all of my adorables that I have been gifted and opened from my husband for the last month over on my crazy Callan vlogs channel for just like a downtime video after I'm done opening this entire box and share with you all the ones that I have been able to um, get out of the packages and find now. I am so grateful and thankful. So there are five of them right there. And I am so happy to have done that with you. Maybe I'll do a couple, you know, and show you what I got during the hauls at the end of the hauls for like the next week to show you the ones that I've pulled out of these packages. But I wanted to open those five with you today. I hope that you enjoyed today's haul. Happy Monday Dollar Tree haul, everyone. I love you guys so much. If you are new here, hi, I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays Mondays and Wednesdays and I am so so happy here and I am so happy that I started this journey and that I know any of you in any way you share yourself with me and you share your time with me so thank you for that I will see you guys in just a couple of days on happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul and I love all your faces so much bye everyone